You're watching the American Athletic Conference on ESPN+. Plus. Uptown New Orleans is the place to be tonight as we lift the lid on league play. It's the Tulane Green Wave welcoming in the Memphis Tigers. And alongside the sharpshooter, former LSU Tiger Jordy Holtberg, Jack Benjamin with you. Welcome inside Avernby Fulgham Arena in the Devlin Fieldhouse. Well, the good news, basketball finally back for these two programs. 15 days since the most impressive win of the season for Memphis over then number six Alabama. 22 days off for Tulane after their loss to Charleston. Question now is how do these two teams recapture a little rhythm, get back <laughs> in the flow? That's the million dollar question. Quentin Scott down the lane nope. to thunder it home. Scott Spencer, baseline drive and kick, extra feed to Cook for three. Book it. Finds the hands of Nolly. Harris blocked. Jalen Cook soaring for a rejection. Extra feed, Hardaway. He's made wow. three threes, make it wow. four. A Holy career God. high 14. Tyler Harris, drop off to Dandridge for the flush, plus a foul. Jalen Cook, step back, triple. Wow. Oh, he's got another one. Wow. He's a flamethrower. Well, Memphis trying to get back to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2014. I'd say Larry Brown's a pretty good guy to add to your staff. The Hall of Famer inducted in 2002. A guy who won a whole bunch of games as a head coach. More than 1,000 wins in the NBA, eighth most in NBA history. Of course, a terrific college coach as well. And how about this, the 1967-68 New Orleans Buccaneers, there's number 11 Larry Brown, top left. Top left, I used to go watch them play. It was a great, great team. He won a championship as an Olympian in 1964. He won a championship as a head coach for the Kansas Jayhawks. He won an NBA title with the Detroit Pistons. I, the best way to describe Larry Brown, he's a basketball lifer. He's 81 years young and he will still be involved in the game in some way, shape, or form for as long as he can. What an amazing story, thinking about having him on the bench. You know, you think about Larry Brown at 81, and you got guys like Imani Bates and Jalen Dern at <laughs> have age no 17. no clue. Yet, he's able to relate to those yeah. guys because he's been through so much. I have no clue what, uh, what he has accomplished. Danny Manning and the Miracles at Kansas. Now that's some good ball movement again from the Green Wave. Wide open flush for R.J. McGee. Defensive laps there. Defensive laps. Good drive and finish. Earl Timberlake gets to the cup. He's I, got a chance for three. I tell you, it's a simple game. Memphis got back in the game. They're shooting 83% in the second half. And why is that? because they're taking the ball to the basket. Timberlake, strong to the 10. That'll get you back in games in a hurry. Well, we talked about his prowess as a scorer. Eight points, seven rebounds. Transfer from Miami. A year in Coral Gables, injury prone last year, knocks down that free throw, and Memphis is back within four points. They trailed by seven at the half. Green Wave looking for their first win over Memphis since February 2016. 12 straight losses. Cross the kick. Corner pop on James. And if you notice, defensively, who's been guarding Cook? Timberlake. Athletic, big, strong. And there's a turnover, the Achilles tendon of Memphis. 12 turnovers. Now they switch back again on Cook. Going with a smaller, quicker. James down the lane. That's goaltending. That's a goaltend. Yeah. And Dandridge got there a step late. And it wasn't going to go in, but a step late. Once it hits the glass, or the rim, you can't touch it. Ron Hunter's group leading by a half dozen. Boy, this is a big, big game for Ron Hunter and Tulane. Big game against the team that's had your number for years. He's yet to win an AAC opener. Last time that Tulane won a conference opener in the American was December the 28th of 2017. They won on the road at Temple. And they've lost four straight overall as a team. 
Leading by six, they've led pretty much the whole way. Tulin with that matchup, kind of a man, half man, half zone type of thing. Lester Quinones has been off, gets his own though, and the mid-range is true. Second chances again, that's 12 offensive rebounds for Memphis. It's only led to nine second chance points, but those will keep adding up. Sometimes lucky bounces count, and uh, Memphis got away with one there. Tough shot. Yeah, Spencer, tough step back. R.J. McGee scrapping. It's loose, taken by Quinones. Basket here, Memphis back within a single possession. Hardaway, the spin and drop off, knocked away again. He brings it down low again. Good Jaylen D by Cook Tulane. Yet to score in the second half and draws a foul. A 16 first half points and he'll get himself to the free throw line. Dandridge is exhausted. as he's begging to come out. And Ron Hunter urging his team to keep pushing the pace. Keep running, keep running. Easier said than done for a team that, of course, hasn't played in 22 days. Yep. I was asking him, first day at, back at practice, what was it like? He said, well, we went for about seven minutes and had to pause. And I think you can imagine what was going on when they had to pause. Right. A lot of winded guys had getting those, back uh, in the flow. Had those O2 tanks on the side. <laughs> Breathe in quickly. Jalen Cook, his first point of the second half, had 16 in the first half. It's a shame that uh, school's not in session. Would have been a great crowd. But kids going home for the break. 18 for Cook to lead all scores. Lead back to a half dozen for the Green Wave. Jaden Hardaway connects on a three. Dad's clapping going, that's my boy. So all of a sudden, the Tigers, after going four for 13 from three in the first half, two for three in the second from deep, Jalen Cook responds wow. again. Wow. He's got 21. It's his fourth 20-point game of the season. Memphis has to figure out a way to defend him. Nice pass, nice look. Another floater for Landers Nolly. 13 for him. I would put Timberlake. This is a, I think this is a good matchup. Cook, Timberlake, let's see what happens there. You like the length? I like the length. I like the fact that he is physically imposing as well. Well, they've let Sion James shoot all night, and that's been the play because he's only one for five. Again, a basket here. Memphis back within a single possession. Landers Nolly has been the guy in the second half. Jaden Hardaway knocks Again. down another three. His second triple tonight. Memphis back within a tally. Here we go. This is good now. Lead was seven at the break for the Green Wave. Quentin Scott pull up two. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Wow. The red shoes. He's got the Christmas look. And a late gift. He had not scored this season entering <laughs> today. He's got six off the bench for Ron Hunter. Back to a three-point game. Opportunities present themselves at, uh, sometimes, and he's seizing the moment. You Jaden gotta be kidding Hardaway, me. he's on fire. Back-to-back <laughs> -back threes. Woo, something about this gym. The rims are kind. Here we go. Career high 11 for Jaden Hardaway here in New Orleans. What is it about this gym and this city and the name Hardaway? They're tying up at 59. Scott Spencer to respond, can't do it. Memphis a basket here has its first lead since the 1740 mark. You can't fall in love with the three now. You got play basketball. Remember what got you back. Take the ball to the basket, both teams. That would be the 1740 mark of the first half. Kinyonis stolen away. Jalen Cook to the basket. Another one. He's got 23. And the turnovers continue to hamper Memphis. Every game I've done with Tulane, I think Cook likes the television cameras. He, he just plays to the lights. Harris blocked away. Sion James' second rejection tonight. 
We've got some good action in the second half, partner. Uh, I tell you what, uh, like father, like son, Jaden Hardaway, the easy way. From the corner, nothing but nylon. From the side, Netsville, 61-59, wave.